Hi guys, Chris at the Ultimate Recycler. Uh, I'm going to do a little uh, worm test now on various types of materials uh, and a, a comparison test really. Um, I was all set to do this and we just had a, a bit of a spring downpour. Now everything's got a bit wet, but that's all right. We'll cope with that. Uh, now what I've got here is some cotton sort of wadding felt out of a mattress and I've tested this before and I know the worms eat that. It's, it's straight cotton and uh, that'll be a good control because I know that's uh, tasty to the worms. Um, oh, a bit of thunder going on, so we might get a bit more showers. Uh, this is out of another mattress and it's kind of like a cotton waste material. I'm not sure if it's totally cotton, so we're going to test that one. In a recent video I did, I pulled apart an old uh, hot water service, a copper hot water cylinder, and this was the insulation in it and I, I mused in that video whether it was a, a natural wool product or a, a synthetic glass fiber type product it feels a bit woolen to me and the way it's soaked up the moisture from the recent rain um, yeah it might be combust uh, compostable or good worm tucker so we'll test that one as well so those two are relatively unknown uh, I'm going to put a couple of layers of hessian across the top um, which just came out of a mattress I deconstructed. I find it's really good topping on the worm farms just to hold the moisture in and the worms will eventually eat it as well. Now I'm going to use this compost bin. Uh, it was composting, I've kind of let it go and it's then just developed into a lazy worm farm and I'll put a link up now for my definition of a lazy worm farm. I did a video on them. And consequently, it's been it's been hosting a large population of worms over some time. I haven't disturbed it. In fact, I had a couple of old sheets across the top of it, and the worms have come up and pretty well eaten most of the sheets too. So there's a good there's one still in there. There's a good population of worms in here. I've just dug it over a little bit to freshen it up, but there's all sorts of stuff. There's still bits of lettuce and eggshells. And... So, but that's all right. So what I'm going to do is. I'll kind of top dress that with a bit of fresh food for a start and I've just run all these veggie scraps through the mulcher uh, there was a full loaf of bread in here there was um, spring onions tomatoes some pumpkin it's just some veggie scraps from home and from the bakery across the road so I've got a, a fair amount of that I'll spread over the top of that area first then I'll add a few coffee grounds perhaps not this whole tub but some coffee grounds as well to give um, plenty of food for the worms and then we'll do a couple of layers or strips of these three items to be tested and uh, water it all down or well, that might happen naturally in a minute uh, cover it with a hessian and I'll leave it for a considerable amount of time and we'll come back and check and just see how the worms have gone with these three products so the food scraps are in that will go mouldy very quickly and the worms will come charging up from the depths and get into that pretty soon. I'll add a sprinkling of coffee grounds. Um, because it's going to be a fairly, well a thickish layer of, of nitrogen rich stuff, it will heat up a little bit. Uh, so the worms will come in when they're ready and then we'll top it off with our samples to be tested. So a nice sprinkle of the coffee grounds now. That looks pretty even. So now we add the uh, other items. All right, as you can see, I've laid out three strips. Uh, the first one being the cotton wadding, which I know is edible. The second one is the insulation from the hot water service, which I don't know. And the other one is the uh, padding from an older mattress base. And it looks cotton, so I assume that that will be eaten, but that's what tests are for. So since nature is, um, decided that we're not going to get any more water I'll have to give them a bit of a sprinkle myself and um, dampen them down and then I might put these old cotton sheets back over the top because they were being consumed anyway and then I'll top it off with this hessian there we go all finished neat ready to um, ready for the worms to do their thing I might just give it a little bit of a spray over the top to dampen the hessian down and as we're into spring now and we've been getting some warmish weather 
I will make sure it doesn't dry out. I'll spray it with a hose every so often to keep it damp. Uh, this spot here is under a nice old, rather messy, but large apricot tree, which is um, all coming into bud at the moment. So it'll have good shade over summer as well. This will be a longer term test. Uh, it doesn't really matter how long it takes. We're just really trying to find out whether these particular products can be um, basically incorporated back into our gardens or whether they will be landfill, which we don't want. But we've got to do the test. All right, we'll check in uh, probably in a month or two down the track and see what's happening. Okay, we're back to check out this test and as you can see, a lot's changed. Um, it's been six months. I've left it a long time because I wasn't worried about um, the, any sort of speed. We're not chasing records here. I was just after information on what can be eaten by the worms and what can't. Um, so since we've last filmed, my apricot tree blew over in a storm, or what was left of it, uh, and the branches still lean across this compost bin. And also a pumpkin has sprouted in one of the compost bins nearby, and it's pretty much taken over this part of my yard, which is fine. There's actually going to be a lot of, lot of fruit on it, which is kind of cool. But I will trim these back a little bit, and we'll have a bit of a look and see what's been going on with the worms and these samples I was testing. That's better, we can get a bit of a look at it now. So, the hessian that I put over the top is totally gone. Well, it's gone except for around the edges where it's dried out. I did have another bit of carpet over here. So the worms have come up and taken the hessian. Just about all of it except what was around the edge. So I'll pick that up and that can go into another worm farm or compost bin because there won't be a problem with it. So that part was fine. Now, the cotton sheets that I threw back over, the same as the hessian. They've demolished it all except for just what's around the edge and what dried out. In fact, they even got most of that. There's only a few little scarex left. So that's fine. Now, this end, we put the cotton wadding, which I had tested before and I knew was fine. And this has dried out a bit. But there's no sign of the cotton wadding there. There's a little bit of fibre there from something, but that's not the cotton wadding. So that's good. They've eaten all that. In fact, there's none left that I can see. And I've got a whole barrel full of that from a mattress I took apart, so that's good. I can layer that on all my compost bins and the worms will enjoy that. Now, the centre part. This doesn't look quite as good, but they have eaten a bit. It's a lot thinner. A little springtail still in there. So this was the insulation that was around a hot water service. Now, whilst it's not gone, it has been broken up just into little bits. So that's, that's actually good. I was initially thinking that it might have been a glass fibre type insulation, totally synthetic, and we would have to take it to landfill, but it's been broken down, it's been eaten, so it must be natural. Although there's still decent amounts here, and this is, as I said, this bin's been here six months, so perhaps it's just been flattened out. All right, I take back what I said. I think it might be a synthetic, because there was, because it sat here under a piece of carpet for six months, it's compressed down, so I think it might still be all there. Well, that's a shame, but anyway, that's what tests are for. We're going to have to bag that up, I'd say. There's a bit more of it. So yeah, underneath that, if you remember, we put all the food scraps and the coffee grounds. And look, this is just beautiful black magic soil. There's still a few eggshells there from a long time ago. But unless they're ground to a fine powder, they do take a long time to break down. This is fantastic. I'm going to dig this soil up and take it home. It'll be a good chance to refresh this compost bin and start it again. Because that's beautiful soil. It'll be great in pot plants. Anyway, we better get to the final test item. And it looks like we've got another fail there too. This was, I thought this was a cotton wadding, or a cotton, sort of like a waste cotton material. But that's well and truly still there. None of that's gone at all. Doesn't look like there's been worms into it. So, it must be synthetic. Perhaps it's a polyester type material. Don't know. 
Well, there's some worms under there, but I don't think they're into this. They're into something else. There's still a little bit of cotton sheet here. So, all right, we have two fails. But that's, as I said, that's what the test was for. We needed to know. So it goes to show that if you are pulling apart a mattress or something and you want to try and uh, compost whatever you can and feed the worms what you can, you need to do tests. Uh, and if you see padding like this, um, well, I've got a fail here. It's not breaking down. The worms aren't getting into it. So I'm assuming it's some sort of synthetic material. And this insulation type stuff must be a artificial glass fibre, maybe. Some sort of artificial material. So at least we've got some results. And I've had confirmation that that cotton wadding is well loved by the worms because there's not a scary lift. So I'll clean this up now. I'll bag these two samples up. And I've got some of this in a barrel when I did take that hot water service apart and when I did scrap, um, deconstruct that mattress. So it looks like those items can't go in my garden, unfortunately. But at least we know. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of that. I shall proceed to dig this compost bin out. And um, I'll get quite a few good buckets of beautiful, rich worm castings for the home garden. And I'll start the composting again with... Um, Oh, I've got to do some mowing, so perhaps we'll start it with grass clippings. Alright, catch you in the next video. Bye.